Hey, Dana here from Serious Vanity on Friday, May 6th, 2016. Well, I'm going to spend some time this weekend like seriously looking at my book collection and wondering what am I going to do with these things? Um, If you were an independent musician like me through the bulk of the 1990s and into the 2000s, um, you probably have a very similar book collection. Um, I was looking the other day at some of the things that I've collected over the years, and I, in particular, I pulled out Confessions of a Record Producer by Moses Avalon. I think probably most of us have that. But there's a bunch of ridiculous things that I've held on to because I'm a real pack rat, and I don't know what to do with them because, really, you look at some of these things and – they're not relevant anymore. Um, so much has changed. And in some ways, it's great because really anybody can be a musician now. Just, you know, go record something and put it online tonight. And there you go. But back in the 90s, it was not that easy. Kids, you don't know how easy you have it now. We had to take our CDs to the post office to send a CD baby 10 miles barefoot in the snow. It was a different time, and it was very exciting, and I remember being so excited to get these things and just absorb every piece of knowledge that I could. But of course, like you can just do a Google search in five minutes and get all that now. But I'm curious, is there like a a market for this stuff now? Does somebody want these things? Or am I stuck with this? What do you do with your outdated indie music crap? I don't know what to do with it. If you have any ideas, I'd love it. Wherever you're hearing this, put it in the comments. I would just, I I am literally at a loss about it. But I'm going to probably look at that this weekend because I would like to clear my shelves off. But I hope that you have a very clearing weekend. Happy Friday to you. And I will talk to you on Monday.